Hi guys! Welcome sa Engineered Math Channel. Sa video na to ay ituturo ko sa inyo ang subtraction of fractions. So kung gusto niyo itong matutunan, just keep on watching. So since na ang subtraction ay ang opposite operation ng addition, lahat ng natutunan natin sa addition of fractions ay maaari nating i-apply sa subtraction of fractions. But instead of adding, we're just subtracting the fractions. So basically, meron din tayong dalawang cases na i-consider sa pagsusubtract ng fractions. The first case is when the fractions are similar at ang second case is when the fractions are dissimilar. So magsimula tayo sa pagsusubtract ng similar fractions. Anyway, Pwede nyo munang panoorin ang video ko about addition of fractions para mas madali kayong makasabay sa mga example problems natin sa subtraction of fractions. So let's start with the first case. That is when we are subtracting similar fractions. Let's try to subtract 7 ninths minus 2 ninths. So they are similar fractions because they have the same denominator of 9. So to subtract them, just like in addition, we will just subtract their numerators. So we have 7 minus 2. And then for the denominator, we will just copy the same denominator of 9. So we have 7 minus 2 is 5 over 9. So, kung magsusubtract din tayo ng two or more fractions that are similar, the same steps will be done to subtract the fractions. For example, 23 over 24 minus 5 over 24 minus 11 over 24. So, dahil similar fractions sila, with the same denominator of 24, we can simply subtract their numerators. So we have 23 minus 5 minus 11 over the same denominator na 24. And therefore, we have the final answer of 17 over 24. So, ganun kadali ang pagsusubtract ng similar fractions. So, subtract lang natin yung kanilang numerators at gagayahin lang natin yung kanilang denominator. So, proceed tayo sa second case of subtracting fractions. That is when we are subtracting the similar fractions. So, again, when we are subtracting the similar fractions, the first step is to find their LCD or least common denominator and then transform the fractions into their equivalent fractions with the denominator as the LCD. For example, 2 thirds minus 1 fourth. So these are two dissimilar fractions with denominators of 3 and 4. So the first step is to find the least common multiples of 3 and 4. So let's try to list the multiples of 3 and 4. So for 3, it has the multiples of 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, and so on. For 4, it has the multiples of 4, 8, 12, 16, and so on. And since meron na tayong nagkaparehong multiple ng 3 at 4, which is 12, therefore, the LCD of 2 thirds and 1 fourth is 12. Therefore, we can transform now 2 thirds and 1 fourth into their equivalent fractions having 12 as the denominator. So for 2 thirds, we will divide the LCD of 12 by the denominator of 3, we have 12 divided by 3 is 4. And we will multiply the product of 4 to the numerator of 2. So we have 
4 times 2 is equal to 8. Therefore, the numerator for the equivalent fraction for 2 thirds with 12 as a denominator is 8. For 1 fourth, we will also do the same process. So we will divide the LCD of 12 by its denominator of 4. So we have 12 divided by 4 is equal to 3. And then we will multiply the answer 3 to the numerator which is 1. So we have 3 times 1 is equal to 3. Therefore, the numerator for the equivalent fraction of 1 fourth with the denominator of 12 is 3. So since na transform na natin yung 2 thirds at 1 fourth sa kanilang equivalent fractions na 8 twelves at 3 twelves, ay pwede na natin silang isubtract. I'm sorry guys, nagkamali ako ng operation na nasulat. Dapat pala ito ay minus since we are subtracting. So we have 8 minus 3 over 12. So we have 5 over 12. Now let's try to have example of subtracting 3 dissimilar fractions. Let's try to subtract 7 over 8 minus 1 over 6 minus 1 over 4. So again, the similar fractions sila. So the first step is to find the LCD of the fractions or find the LCM of 4, 6, and 8. So let's list the multiples of the three numbers. For 4, its multiples are 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 30, and so on. For 6, its multiples are 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, and so on. For 8, its multiples are 8, 16, 24, 32, and so on. And the least common multiple na nakita natin ay 24. Therefore, the LCD of 7 over 8, 1 over 6, and 1 fourth is 24. Now, we can transform them into their equivalent fractions having 24 as the denominator. So for 7 over 8, we have 24 divided by 8 is 3 times 7 is 21. For 1 sixth, we have 24 divided by 6 is 4 times 1 is 4. For 1 fourth, we have 24 divided by 4 is 6 times 1 is 6. Therefore, since similar fractions na sila, ay pwede na nating isubtract ang numerators. We have 21 minus 4 minus 6 over the same denominator na 24. So the final answer is 11 over 24. So basically, the steps in subtracting fractions is the same as the steps in adding fractions. When we are subtracting similar fractions, we just simply subtract the numerators and then copy the same denominator. And when we are subtracting the similar fractions, we transform first the fractions into similar fractions by finding their LCD first and then transforming the fractions into their equivalent fractions having the denominator as the LCD. And then afterwards, proceed to the rules of subtracting similar fractions.
So sana ay may natutunan kayo sa video na to at maraming salamat sa panonood.